Hello. So, I'm filming this now because tomorrow I'm going to the circus to see my big sister, um, who I haven't seen in like a year or something ridiculous. So that's gonna be wonderful. Um, she's in Connecticut. So if anybody else is in Bridgeport, Connecticut, you should probably go to the circus because circus, except clowns. So. Anyway, um, you just missed something awesome because my roommate Zoe just like yelled in from the other room. Apparently, Finland has a heavy metal band for children and they dress up as dinosaurs. So we're moving to Finland. Probably not tomorrow because I'm going to the circus and not the day after that because I'm going to go see Pitch Perfect. Tuesday. Tuesday is good. Um, so what I'm reading today is actually not a poem, so I guess I'm kind of cheating. Um, but I wanted to read it because I'm really excited. Um, I knew it was going to be published in our newspaper here, The Observer. Um, but I didn't realize I was going to have a page all to myself. That's me. That's it. Um, it's actually an exercise that I did for one of my classes for actually my least favorite professor. I'm pretty sure she's the devil, um, but she's really successful, which actually makes a lot of sense. Um, but I'm just going to read that. Um, and, you know, if any of you guys want copies, they're free, so I could probably send them to you. Um, bring one to Megan tomorrow. And... Yeah, I'll probably bring a bunch home for Thanksgiving, so since, obviously, I mean, it's pretty much just family members watching this, I can grab a couple for you guys. Um, so this is an exercise I wrote. Basically, actually, there's a description of the exercise. Um, this is from my professor. In my own writing, I frequently use childhood memory as an entry to narrative. Here's a prompt I gave to workshop students in English 5166, a creative writing masterclass in young adult and children's literature. The pieces below from student writers were turned in that very day. As you can see by the quality of the work, a timed response to a writing prompt can tease out inspiration. And for some of us, a childhood memory can provide the source for a larger story. Um, so basically, we're supposed to evoke a childhood or young adult memory, focus on the location, um, and then um, describe your inner child as a character, and then in like the third part combine the two to come up with a piece. And we had to do the first memory we thought of, um, which unfortunately for me was a kind of sad memory, very sad memory actually. Um, it was the last moment of my childhood. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to read it now, and then I'll probably hang up because it's 1.32 and I have to wake up at a reasonable hour tomorrow, and I'm probably going to be up late tomorrow night, so. Anyway. Childhood Goodbyes. October 9th, 2001. I loved field trips. I loved learning mixed with movement. I used to try and walk and read at the same time. I suppose that's one reason I was part of enrichment. I liked being smart, but more so I liked doing things differently from other people. This trip, we, the enrichment program, got to learn about my small town history. Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania didn't have much of an interesting past, but the day mostly consisted of being with several of my closest friends, singing with the upbeat pop songs on the radio and laughing at nothing. We were finally on the way back to the school, just in time to catch the buses home. I had one front seat advantage and was changing the station to my favorite, when I stopped to look at the scenery passing by the chilled window. Historically, and okay, in every possible way, Bloomsburg was boring. But on a perfect fall day, when the leaves were turning orange and red and yellow and brown with traces of the last sickly looking green, and you're thinking about how your mom always says your eyes are all the colors of autumn trees, and you come around that hairpin turn on Route 487, you have your whole life ahead of you, and you're laughing because of the last stop on the trip a group of angry chickens attacked you, and you're craving pumpkin pie, let me tell you, it was beautiful. It was the very last moment of my childhood. 
Childhood is a time when you don't understand what it means to fight to keep yourself from crying because you might make someone else sad or uncomfortable. Childhood is a time when you believe in miracles. The next instant, I yelled, stop. It was so sudden, Mrs. Bittler swerved onto the yellowing grass at the side of the road, turning and frantically waving her bright red, three-inch long claws at me. I looked at the clock. 2.03. I... I think I lost something. We looked through my things. It was all there. But I was right. I did lose something. It was important. I just didn't know what it was yet. Childhood is a time when you haven't sat in the front pew at a funeral. Childhood is a time when you have lived in the same house all your life because there aren't any ghosts haunting your father. Childhood is a time when your mother isn't the thing you lost on a fourth grade field trip.